in the previous video i told you that the whatever formulas i have taught you it is without preference just taken into consideration in the capital structure now we'll take taking preference share into consideration in capital structure okay so what are the major changes if we take preference share into consideration there are minute changes first right operating leverage no changes in dynamic as well as in static formula i hope this is quite clear second financial leverage no changes in dynamic formula changes in static formula okay so financial leverage static formula is equal to whatever will be the static formula it will firstly be the same ebit divided by ebt but here are the changes ebt minus preference dividend into 1 plus ddt what does ddt means i'll write down divided by 1 minus t so what does ddt means dividend distribution tax nt refers to tax okay tax rate hope this is quite clear when we'll be solving some that time it will be very easy if we don't solve any sums on this so don't worry it is not very difficult if ddt is given in the question 0 so that means 1 plus 0 percent so uh, P pd will remain same that is preference dividend percentage will remain same or amount will remain same divided by 1 minus tax 1 minus tax means how we will calculate this 1 minus tax is equal to if the tax rate is equal to 30% therefore it will be equal to 30 divided by 100 which is equal to 0.3 if 1 minus t then it will be equal to 1 minus 03 which is equal to 0.7 that means pd that is preference dividend will be divided by 0.70% and whatever amount will be come will be subtracted from ebt i hope this is quite clear and then you will get your financial leverage if the question if the question is provided with the preference share that is uh, in capital structure preference share is also included then you first need to find out the static formula so that you get the financial leverage that means whatever the um, whatever the number comes if it comes to so that means it becomes two times you have to first find out with this formula if finance uh, if preference share is taken into consideration and then apply dynamic formula the financial leverage times will be substituted over the degree of financial leverage and the formula will remain same of the dynamic formula okay i hope this is quite clear similarly third combined leverage is equal to no changes in dynamic formula combined leverage static formula will be equal to contribution divided by ebt which will again remain same preference dividend into 1 plus ddt that is dividend distribution tax divided by 1 minus tax will get combined leverage i hope this is quite clear i just want you all to give one hint a note that you all have to follow whenever you are solving the leverage chapter okay so firstly please pause the video and copy this much I hope you all have copied this much. Pause the video and copy the remaining part.
I hope you all have copied this much. Now, note, hint, whatever you like, you please write, and this is very important. Firstly, see, when ever you are solving degree of leverage, first step is. Calculate, calculate leverage using static formula. Second step, substitute the leverage which comes in time, which comes in times. in place of degree of leverage and then calculate dynamic formula so that you can be easily able to calculate the percentage change i hope this is the most important hint okay so if you are if you want to solve degree of degree of leverage so you firstly need to find out the static formula if in the question the times are given that is the solution of the static formula is already given in time then you just need to substitute the times in place of uh, degree of leverage and then follow our dynamic formula okay i hope this is quite clear now one more thing i have already shown you the format many a times a question comes in such a way that you have to fill in the blanks like uh, sales less variable gives us contribution less fixed uh, fixed cost gives us ebit less interest gives us ebt okay so we know there are three formulas uh, which we can find out with the help of this format okay so at times in the question they may give you the sales they may give you a uh, variable they may give you ebit and they may give you interest also and they may ask you to find out this all remain uh, missing figures okay so you have to find out the missing figure in a reverse order or a, the manner you feel appropriate using the formulas okay the sums may come ahead but i am telling you you have to solve it in such manners at times you have to break the formulas like if operating uh, operate wait operating leverage formula is contribution divided by ebit so you can break the formula like this also contrib uh, operating leverage is equal to contribution is what ebit this ebit plus fixed cost divided by ebit so that you can be easily able to find out the missing figures similarly this all are things are very important okay do not ignore this this all a small small hint please do keep in mind that you can use this things also to calculate or find out some missing figures out of this okay uh, now similarly if financial leverage formula is ebit divided by ebt so it can also be written as ebt plus interest divided by ebt okay it helps to find out the missing figures so firstly i'll want you all ha you all have taken that previous page so firstly please pause the video and take down the note or slash hint whatever you feel like to call I hope you all have copied this much. Please copy the remaining part. I hope you all have copied this much. Please pause the video and copy this remaining part. Here the theory ends, and next video will be. on 
प्रैक्टिकल सम्स ओके सो बिफोर सींग द प्रैक्टिकल सम्स आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू रिवाइज द एंटायर theory that i have given to you all please memorize the formulas it will be very helpful to you all i have tried to simplify it to a greater extent please follow my instructions so that it will help you okay